Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. If you're new here, then hi, welcome. It's really nice to meet you. Today's video is a Harry Potter video. Yay! So I have been obsessing over Harry Potter recently. I've reached the Harry Potter side of TikTok, which I sound so posh saying that, um, which has opened up my love for Harry Potter even more. Um, if anyone knows me, I love Harry Potter and Disney, but I do. Disney is my one true love, but I love Harry Potter as well. And I watched Jesse Hallows part two last night and I thought, you know what? I want to make a Harry Potter video. So my makeup today, the red eye look, there is some yellow in it. It might not pick up on camera, but it's because I'm a proud Gryffindor. So I thought I'd show my house pride with my makeup. Uh, don't come for me about how bad my makeup is. I can't really do makeup, but I try. I do my best, you know. Can't do eyeliner, so it might look a bit weird, but I don't really care. Um, so I thought today I would show you some of my favourite pieces of my Harry Potter collection. This is nowhere near all of my collection. Uh, there is a lot in my collection, the same as my Disney collection, but I thought I'd show you some of it. Some of it is Funko Pops, however, I do want to do a whole video of my Harry Potter Funko Pops, like I did with my Disney one, uh, which I will do at some point. But I thought I'd show you my favourite pieces of my collection, so let's get into it. So where should I start? Okay, I think I'm going to start with one of my all-time favourite things, is my Gryffindor scarf. So, this is my Gryffindor Quidditch scarf. I got this, did I get this at the tour or did I get it in the uh, 903 quarter shop at King's Cross? There is a label on here somewhere, oh here we go. Ah, I got it at the studio tour. So, I got this the first time I went uh, the studio tour which was for my 21st birthday my mum surprised me and we went there on my 21st which is amazing and I bought my Quidditch Gryffindor scarf I am a proud Gryffindor I've done the Pottermore test and several other tests since then and I've always been a Gryffindor um I think it's the red hair <laughs> um I I'm proud to be a Gryffindor I wouldn't want to be in any other house I think it does really describe me so I am a Gryffindor. So this is one of my favourite things of all time. I do have one of the other ones, one of the, I think I've got, yeah I have got the one from King's Cross as well but I did desperately want this one from the studio tour because it's thicker, it's longer and I just think it's so much better than the other one. And it is my favourite, it is my house colours and even though red sometimes doesn't necessarily go with my hair, I will wear it because I want to be like every Gryffindor ever, um, Ginny Weasley, Lily Potter, I mean the hair's the same you know, so I'm obsessed, I love it, I can't wait for it to be cold enough for me to wear it all the time, to represent my house all the time, I'm so excited, that's the first thing. Right, next up we're going to go with something, oh by the way that was kind of expensive because it was from the studio tour but it's worth every penny in my opinion. Next thing is, was cheap, it was from Primark. It is the Gryffindor House Candle. So it's got the little HP logo on the top with the little snitch. Got the crest on the candle and it's a nice red candle uh, with obviously the Gryffindor crest on it. I think this is maybe like three, four pound. It's from Primark. Um, I think I said that already, but I'm gonna say it again. Oh, the scent is to die for. I can't remember exactly what the scent is. I feel like it's lily and something, like water lily and something, obviously for Lily Potter. Maybe lily and blossom maybe, I feel like that's ringing a bell, but it's such a sweet scent and it just, there's a bit of like chocolate in it, I, I adore this candle. I haven't burnt it that much because I'm really scared to like burn it and have it go because Primark don't do them anymore as far as I know. I think they do the little ones but I don't think they do the big ones anymore and I don't think they smell exactly the same. Um, I adore this candle, I think it's great, it sits on my Harry Potter shelf just looking all cute and sometimes I do burn it because I love the smell but sometimes I just leave it open and the smell sort of fills my room anyway. But yes, cute. They had all the houses uh, at one point so they had Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw but obviously I had to get Gryffindor because it is my house. Uh, next up is this I also got on my 21st birthday so this is one of the pictures um, so it comes in like a little 
envelope like this it has the harry potter studio tour on it and on the back it says secrets will be revealed and then inside is my favorite thing so you can have a picture on a broomstick or well, you could then but obviously with restrictions at the moment i don't think they're doing that but um normally you can have a picture on a broomstick but i was really scared to go on a broomstick but no one was queuing for the weasley car and i thought well hun i'm a weasley so i'm gonna get in the weasley car so i had this picture taken and i love it so much um i hope you can see it okay it is me in the weasley's ford anglia and behind me is the hogwarts express obviously because that's the scene in there and i'm smiling which i really wish i had enough confidence at the time to like pretend to be scared like they were in the film but I just adore this photo, it is my favourite thing in the whole world and I just love that they have those photo ops, you literally sit in the front of like the car and then the rest of it's green screen and it's just so amazing and I love it, I love it so that's one of my favourite things in my collection. Uh, next up is a makeup item, so Boots um, for the last couple of years have released Harry Potter makeup. Uh, for like the Christmas period and I decided to get the lipsticks so I've got the four houses so you've got Gryffindor so they're all in the shape hang on let me try and show you that one's not really in the shape anymore because I used that one a lot hang on let me I'll show you the Hufflepuff ones this is a Hufflepuff one and they're all in the shape of the lightning bolt which is obviously Harry's scar so I've got Gryffindor Hufflepuff Ravenclaw and Slytherin and they're all colour changing so the Gryffindor one comes out more pinky red which is what I've got on today um, and I love it because it actually really works with my skin tone so I love that and the others come out a bit more pinky some of them are a bit more purpley so sometimes I wear I think the Slytherin one's more of like a purpley one so that's more of a winter colour for me um, but I really love them they were really really cheap and they're just honestly they're great they're great I love the quality of them and they last a long time and I'm really impressed with them. I also got the nail varnishes. Oh, hello, the cat's here. Hi. Sorry, the cat's here. Um, <laughs> you could hear me talking and ran up the stairs if you heard the bell, I apologize. Um, so yeah, I had the nail varnishes as well, but I couldn't find where I put them. They're in a nail varnish drawer somewhere, but I mean, I couldn't find them. So, but I mean, I've shown you the lipstick, so I'm sure they'll have the nail varnishes again this year because they always do. Uh, next up, I have these two lanyards that I got in the King's Cross store. Um, did I get in the King's Cross store? I feel like maybe I got one of them in the tour. I can't remember. Anyway, I got them in one store. First up is this Hogwarts Express lanyard. So it's got nine and three quarters. It's got Hogwarts Express at the top. And then platform nine and three quarters, Hogwarts Express. And then they have these little pouches would help if I turned it on the right way that have like little tickets in so you've got platform nine and three quarters London to Hogwarts for one way and it's like just like their train ticket and I'm obsessed with it Hector is sitting on all my stuff Han can you like not sit on the expensive things please um but yeah so I've got this one which I love and I also have this one which is the Deathly Hallows <laughs> anyone that knows me I don't know why one of my favorite lines in the films is Zinnius Lovegood saying the Deathly Hallows and I don't know why but his accent just makes my life so I had to get the Deathly Hallows one when I saw it because I love it and I also love the Deathly Hallows I think the Deathly Hallows part two is my all-time favorite Hogwarts Hogwarts film my all-time favorite Harry Potter film and that's the one I watched last night so I had to get the Deathly Hallows one but yeah, love those. I feel like the ticket on them, that one's also got a ticket on them. That's a really good detail. Uh, so I love those. Next up, I'm going to go with pins. So I'm going to show you some of my favourite pins. So I have my pins, my Harry Potter pins, just on this little, um, what do you call this, like tapestry sort of thing? It's not a tapestry, but you know what I mean. Uh, so I put them all on here because I've got my pin board that's got all my Disney pins on. But I wanted to keep my Harry Potter ones separate. So I'm going to show you some of my favourites. Let me just take some of them off. Um, so I have the little, Ch I think it's Chibli design characters, and I love all of those. Um, hang on, I'm just, sorry, I'm trying to get this pin off. I should have done this before I start the video. Uh, these are from Sarah's illustrations, uh, Sarah X illustrations. She's got it on the back, which is really helpful because I forget where I get things from. And as you know, ginger hair, hand-me-down robes, must be a Weasley. Uh, so I feel like I have a Weasley and honorary Weasley, so I got two Weasley pins. So I got Mr. and Mrs. Weasley, and it's got Mr. and Mrs. Weasley, 
Arthur and Molly next to it and then it's got in the middle the W on their sweaters. Anyone that's seen Harry Potter will know that Mrs Weasley makes sweaters every year with people's initials on so it's got the W on there which is really really cute. I love that and also from Sarah X Illustrations I got this one. These are all C grades I think so there was technically something wrong with them but I don't see anything wrong with them so this is Ginny Weasley's Cauldron, which has a book in, and Tom Riddle's Diary from the second film, which I love because I want to be Ginny Weasley so bad. So I got that. Uh, they are two of my favourites. I also have, which I feel like was him from her as well, but it might not have been, uh, this pin, which says I must not tell lies, which is in the style of when Ubridge threatens Harry Potter, so I love that. And the final pin I'm going to show you. Oh my god, I just dropped one dropping them i is this one i ordered recently and it says the order on it and it's got a phoenix it obviously stands for the order of the phoenix and i just think the artwork on that is stunning and i think it's a beautiful pin so oh actually no i'm going to show you one more sorry this is my cursed child house pin so for the cursed child some people might not like it i actually really enjoyed it i went to see it before i read it and i loved it uh it's such a phenomenal stage show and it's absolutely incredible so i I love it. Uh, this is the Gryffindor house pin from there because their house pins are slightly different than the original, uh, which I think is great. I love. And I love those pins. So I am a massive pin collector, even if it's Harry Potter or Disney. I just have to have all the pins. I love pins. Oh, God, they're all falling. Hang on, sorry. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't lose any of the backs on them because... I mean, I think I just have. Great. Anyway, I will sort that out later. That's not anything that needs to be sorted out now. Um, I'm going to show you some of my favourite Harry Potter Funko Pops. So, of course, I have to start with the boy who lived himself. I have two Harry Potter Funko Pops. I have one of him in his dress robes and this one. And this one is one I got recently in Tesco's for like £7 maybe. And I just love it. It's Harry with the invisibility cloak in his little striped pyjamas so he's got his little striped pyjamas on and when he first gets the invisibility cloak at Christmas and I love it he's got his little scar on his head his little glasses I just think it's really, really cute and I love the detail on the invisibility cloak it's such a stunning detail and the colours are amazing next up is this mini Harry Potter I've got which has got the H jumper on the like Weasley H jumper which I love and I want this in the full size Funko but I got this in like a mystery bag one um, so I was really happy with it but I want him and his jumbo in full size and I want Ron in his jumbo in full size the Funko Pop one. speaking of Ron I have two uh, two Ronald Weasleys this is by far my favourite this is him with the howler and I love him he's in his dress robes looking terrified because his mum's sent him a howler and I just love it because that scene with the howler is so perfect um, I love Molly Weasley's character she's just sensational um so yeah i love i love 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 that funk pop uh, i'm gonna carry on with the wheezies because i mean i love them uh next up is this one this is Ginny. she is supposed to be on this stand however when i got her out of the box i realized the stand was broken but i didn't have my receipt so i could return her and like exchange her and she was the only one in the shop at the time so i just stick blue tag on <laughs> and stick it which i know some people might be like oh my god but some of them I have to stick down anyway because they move so much that the second you go near the jaws that they're on they will all just fall over. So I have Ginny Weasley, obviously she's supposed to be on the stand but she's on her broomstick and she's flying, she's got her Gryffindor robes um, and I I adore it. I love Ginny so much and I love that I had, this is the only Ginny one I have at the moment. Um, do you want to get more Ginny Weasley ones because she is my absolute fave? Um, I've forgotten how this stand goes on now. What's wrong with me? Why am I struggling? Oh my god, I'm so thick. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I really struggle. So this is what she looks like on her stand. It's just like a little acrylic stand. Um, I love it. And she is by far my favourite Weasley of all time. Uh, so... My next favourite Wheezies are Fred and George. Do not ask me to distinguish which one is which because they are both 
in their dress robes and I can't remember. I do know which one is which, but I can't remember. Um, so I've got Fred and George, the Wheezy twins, in their dress robes from the Yule Ball, which I love. I love them. Uh, they're such good characters and I had to have them. I got these for my birthday. Uh, if you was at Christmas. I feel like maybe it was my birthday this year. I can't really remember, but I love them. They own my heart. They are my, some of my favourite characters in the whole entire Harry Potter series. Uh, next up is the other member of the Golden Trio that I haven't shown yet, which is Hermione Granger. I have two Hermione Grangers. I have this one and her in her cat form from the Polyjuice Potion. This is her from Prisoner of Azkaban, the pink hoodie and her jeans. I love her. She is a fab character. I love Hermione so much and I love that I have her Funko Pop. This is the outfit that, and she's got a little time turner on as well. This is the outfit that she punches Draco in the face for, which I'm um, all about that. Uh, I need a, junk, a Draco fit Funko Pop so badly. I love Draco. Next up is one of my all-time favourite characters in the whole entire world. And that is... His wand's broken. Is it broken or is he not supposed to have a wand? It doesn't look like this. I feel like his wand may have broken. That makes me really sad. Uh, anyway, it's Sirius Black. I love Sirius, I have done for years, I love Gary Oldman playing Sirius and I just think Sirius's character arc is incredible and I love him. Um, I feel like maybe his wand broke in his hand here, I'm not sure if he was supposed to have one or not, is there something in his hand but I can't remember if it was sticking out or not. Either way that makes me really sad, uh, but I love him, he is precious and when I finally got Sirius I was like so over the moon. Uh, speaking of Sirius, I have some ones from the studio tour. I have two from the studio tour and two that were mystery ones that I got in B&M, I think. Yeah, two that I got in uh, B&M. So this first mystery wand is of my favourite, Sirius Black. So it's in this little brown box, it says Sirius Black on it. And on the back it's got the making of Harry Potter and like the Warner Brothers logo and everything. Uh, so yeah, this is my serious wand. This is this little brown wand box. I keep them in the boxes because I just want to protect them because I'm really scared of breaking them. This is the first wand I got from the studio tour because Sirius is the love of my life and I had to, I had to get him. So this I got on my 21st birthday and it's such a stunning wand. So this is Sirius's wand. I'm going to move out the way so you can hopefully see the detail. It's like all detailed and it's stunning. And they're really like good quality, they're really sturdy, they're really good quality and I just love them. I think they're such a good collecting, collection piece, God, I can't even speak, um, and I love it. I love it so much. I want like a toy version, I know that sounds really stupid, but if I like take photos or stuff for <laughs> Halloween and stuff, I want a toy version of the one so that I don't break the one if I ever go to a Halloween party just as any of the characters I want the toy versions of the ones because these I will never never take out of my house because I would be too scared that I will break it um so yeah it just sits in the box like this and then obviously the lid on the top and I'm so here for it so so here for it I love them I think they're great they are kind of expensive um so I would only get one anytime I went Oh, I just love them. I do really, really desperately want the Elder Wand, uh, Harry's Wand, Ron's Wand, Hermione's Wand, Fred and George's Wand. Uh, but next up, the other wand I do have currently is of my the Queen herself, Ginny Weasley, because she is my fave and I want to be her, obviously. Uh, again in the brown box and her wand is stunning it's really simple I've got to hold this one in because this doesn't like sit in the box as well uh, it's really simple it's black it's got like a swirly handle it's really really simple but I adore it I think it's fab again really good quality and I had to have her wand because I want to be her so she is one of my favorite characters probably my favorite character so I had to have her and um, also in the books and the films but I do love film Ginny unpopular opinion but you know I love this wand uh, so yeah honestly my ones are probably my most prized possession in my collection so I only have the two they are official Warner Brothers ones uh, from the tour but like I said I would really want Ron, Hermione 
the twins. I'd love Lupin's wand. I'd love the Elder wand. I just love them all. However, I do have these two mystery ones, like I said, that I got from B and M. I think they were fifteen pound each. I think I got them separate occasions. So they come in these little Harry Potter boxes. Really, really cute. Uh, just open one end because they're ones that you pull out. If I can pull it out, this is embarrassing. So you get a wand and you get a post and a bookmark. So the bookmark shows who the wand belongs to. And this one that I got first of all is the first one I got is of Nymphadora Tonks. It's like a 3D bookmark and it says Nymphadora Tonks on the bottom. And I actually love Tonks's wand. Like it's such a good wand. But I would never have purchased her wand at the tour. So I feel like this is actually good because then I've got her wand now. So I wouldn't have to get it at the tour. Um, like the official one but then if I get Remus then I've got the pair this is Tonks's wand so it's brown it's got all of these details on and the handle is so cool like look at that so you hold I'm assuming she holds it like with one finger maybe I'm not really too sure um but I love this wand I think it's so cool and again like I said wouldn't have been one that I would have chosen to purchase willingly if that makes sense i'm not saying i'm disappointed in it because i love it but it wouldn't have been one that i would have gone to the tour and gone i want tonks's wand you know um so i'm glad i've got her in that form so that i don't necessarily have to like go to the tour and be like oh yeah i need to get tonks's wand because i've already got it i do at one point in my life i can't get in the box I want to have all of the ones i can't get tonks's back in the box so i'm gonna save that for after the video uh, i just scared the cat um but I would love to have all the ones at some point, but I feel like I'd need my ha a house first so I could have a room just full of Harry Potter ones, like at the end of the tour. Like Ollivander's shop, they have that at the end of the tour where they've got all of them like on the wall. That's what I need. I need an Ollivander's shop in my house. Um, and I will have that one day, I promise you. Next up is one that I was very excited for. So I saw the wand initially and the postcard, uh, postcard, I keep saying postcard, it's not postcard, it's a bookmark. I've just thrown it on the floor. Was at the bottom, upside down. So I didn't actually know whose one this was, but when I turned this over, I nearly died. So this is Ronald Weasley's wand, which as a Weasley, I'm so happy for. Um, and I think his wand is great as well. So it's like this brown wand. It's a bit like Higgledy Piggledy, but then the handle, I'm hoping that you can see it in the light. So I just like, the handle is so cool. It like, looks like the bark of a tree. So like I, love it it sort of reminds me of the bottom of the elder wand as well so i love it i love his wand so much i love ron so much um so i was really really happy that i got him as like my second or my last mystery wand i've got well at the moment um but i do i will say that like different from tonks's wand i will want to get ron's official wand from the tour even though i've got this because these are really really good quality and actually do feel really really good quality but i do want the official one of the trio so i haven't yet got any of the trio so i feel like the first one i'd need to get is harry and then i would want to get ron and hermione's as well um but i will want to get their official ones i did get these mystery ones because i really wanted to get draco um however i didn't get draco but that's fine because I can always get Draco at the tour. Um, I really, really, really love Draco as a character, so I would love to get his wand as well. Um, but like I said, I want all of them at some point, but I feel like these for £15, whereas I think the ones on the tour are like £30 upwards, maybe? I can't really remember, but these for £15 are really good. So I got two for the price of one of them in the tour. So they're fab, I think they're great, and they are quite good quality. So even if, for example, I could never get Tonks is one, I've got that one. So I will be getting one's official one and I will be getting all of the trio's official ones and hopefully loads of other ones as well. But for now, they're the ones I have. Uh, I love them. I do want all of them. I am so glad that I got Sirius and Ginny because they are my two favourite characters of all time. But like I said, there are others that I desperately, desperately want. So each time I go back to the tour, I will be getting them. <laughs> And I have no shame in that fact. Uh, I think that's everything. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything in this collection that I want to show you today. Like I said, I have so much more. Um, so I might do another part another time. Or I really love Harry Potter, so I would love to do another Harry Potter video. 
sorry if this is really rambly and really and I repeat myself quite a lot but I just get excited about things like Disney and Harry Potter and after watching Harry Potter last night I felt all the emotions I cried I laughed I got excited I got scared like I've seen that film so many times but I was so overwhelmed with emotions I didn't know what to do with myself um oh another thing I love from my collection is this actually I forgot I even had this on this is my I don't know if you can be able to see it very well um spirit jersey that I got from the tour it's got the Hogwarts crest on it with Gryffindor Slytherin Hufflepuff Ravenclaw and then the mantra and then down the sides it's got like the stripes I feel like it's a Quidditch one I love it um it's so so comfy and I wore it when I went to watch Fantastic Beasts the second one when that came out and I just love it I think it's fab it's really really comfy like I said so yeah this I got from the studio tour this again I think maybe it was like 30 40 pound maybe a bit more expensive I can't really remember but I treated myself to it because I fell in love so yeah that's it <laughs> um that's all the collection I'm going to show you today I do have a lot more like I said I've got a lot of jewelry and a lot of other stuff that um I adore in my collection but for now I just wanted to do a little quick video of stuff that I love um and hopefully if I ever get any more ones or any other merch then I will show you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did please subscribe to my channel it would mean a lot um let me know any video ideas you've got down below I have got some good ideas that I'm really looking forward to doing in a couple of weeks which I'm really excited for um, and again a really good Halloween video which I'm really excited for so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, keep safe and well and I will see you next time bye guys